Welcome back to The Ed Show. Finally tonight, the appearance of three mysterious craters in northern Siberia last month prompted numerous conspiracy theories. Now Russian scientists sent to the site believe they've determined how the massive craters formed and it looks like global warming played a major role. The seemingly bottomless craters appear to have been caused by thawing permafrost. Scientists say unusually high concentrations of methane were present at the bottom of the first crater. They believe this is directly linked to the abnormally hot summers experienced in the area in 2012 and 2013. As temperatures rose, the permafrost thawed and collapsed, releasing methane trapped by the subterranean ice. The problem is, when more methane and CO2 are released into the atmosphere, global temperatures increase, which in turn can melt more permafrost. Bottom line, this is a vicious cycle. We don't have time to deny this any longer. Dr. Reese Halter, author of The Insatiable Bark Beetle, joins us tonight, conservationist and biologist with us here on The Ed Show. Dr. Halter, uh, what can be done to stop this chain reaction? How do we reverse this when more and more of these craters keep showing up? What do you think? Ed, this is a this is a ticking time bomb. The only thing we can do is reduce the amount of fossil fuels that we're spewing daily. 85 million tons of greenhouse tr heat trapping gases into the atmosphere. And here's the thing, the unintended consequences are epic because if we look at, at the most perfect carbon dioxide warehouses that have ever evolved on our planet, our ancient forests, they're telling us that we're in serious trouble. By the way, forests are dying, mature forests are dying on every forested continent. These mature trees, for every one ton of wood, they've sucked out of the atmosphere one and a half tons of CO2, and they've given us one ton of oxygen. This is a very serious, very serious issue because if we go to the lungs of Earth, the Amazon jungle, the Amazon jungle started to show us in 2005 that it was in serious trouble. We had a storm in 2005 that blew over a half a billion trees. Then later that year, Ed, a, a one in one 500 year drought happened and another couple billion trees died. Two years later in 2007, as earth began to warm, we had fires, the equivalent of one million World Cup Brazilian soccer fields burning. And then the mother mm. of all so, drought in 2010 in the Amazon that killed another so, couple billion trees. So, so the permafrost, I mean, this is something that really hasn't been seen as a problem in the past, at least not to the, to the novice eyes of those who follow climate change in this country and around the world. But oh, this is, this, this, go ahead. It, it's been full on, uh, uh, we've had our eyes on this radar screen big time, man. Th this is a gas that's 72 times stronger than carbon dioxide at trapping heat. We've been watching, what's happened is the, the soil's frozen. So that when the soils are warming as they are now, they're beginning to decay. As they decay, they release uh, uh, methane. And this is an unstoppable time bomb. And the kicker about our forests that are dying, the Amazon, is that the Amazon creates their own rain clouds every day, Ed. This is a white shield around the equator that gets the highest amount of solar radiation that provides mm. moisture to Earth, but it also, it reflects the incoming solar radiation. So when we is, lose, the tree's dead, we have no shield. Yeah. Dr. Halter, is, is this similar to anything else you, you, you've studied? No, this, this is the full meal deal, man. In other words, our life support system on planet Earth is breaking down. Hello, I hear Earth calling SOS. The question is, is anybody home, Ed? Well, I hope they're home. We got a lot of deniers out there across the country, across the world, actually. But we are the number one country in the world when it comes to, to climate change uh, denial. There's no question about that. But when you see this kind of stuff and you hear that the permafrost is melting, if this doesn't wake people up, I don't know what will. 
Dr. Well, Reese Halter, we will have you back and continue our discussions here on climate change. I appreciate your time so much tonight. Thank you.